Mark, we've talked for a number of years about when does T4G end? Well, you remember the very first one, we were, we were all surprised how many people came. Right. And, uh, and there was a lot of excitement to think, oh, we should do this every year, we should start a magazine or yeah. build something. And, and we, as we thought about it, prayed about it, we were just like, no, everybody has other stuff they're doing. They have their local right. church and another ministry. Yeah. Let's just keep this a pastor's conference every other and, year. And, and the every other year part was, was part of that. It's just there, there are a lot of conferences out there. Yeah. There are a lot of good things yeah. going. We want to be Lord. a friendship yeah. that ends up encouraging pastors. Yeah. We want to make it clear that what's happening in local churches is the important thing. That's right. T4G is not the important no. thing. It's only useful insofar it encourages good, faithful gospel ministry in the local church and it encourages pastors and elders in that work. And so we, we always knew there'd be a time yeah. that we'd say, this is the last time. Well, and a few days ago, our brother Al Moeller contacted us and said, brothers, I love you guys very much, but I've just got to do other things now. And the uh, world, he's doing the World Magazine that's opinion right. page. He's Some got things are going on in the Southern Baptist Convention. Southern Baptist Convention. Convention. Yeah. And at that point, we started looking I think around. You, you and I both felt like, yeah, yeah I kind of feel Let's let's do and this look, one. Al had even even the year before, you know, we there'd been some discussion. Is, is it time for us to yeah. bring it in? And I think we certainly talked hit, about it in February. We did, yeah. And so, this so is it. we already we always built the thing so that we could stop it. Right. Uh, it's it's funny, you know, with the conference, people don't realize this. There's so much that goes into it that it's 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 really hard. You you have to pre-commit to rent places and other kind of commitments you make, and yeah. you can't break them. So. Right. It's funny, once you get into conferences, you kind of got to keep them going. So yeah. we've worked very hard uh, by the way we've done things. That's right, so that, that we're we gonna be able to actually stop yeah. it. And so anyway, I'm pretty pumped about yeah. this being the last one. Me too. And maybe this being the best one. Certainly it's gonna be, yeah. uh, it's one I'm excited yeah. about. I am too. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for the people we don't have. And, and having seen the messages, knowing the guys that we're gonna introduce, a, yeah. lot, a lot of these guys that are preaching are you know they're they're not on the celebrity circuit. These are yeah. faithful, solid yeah. pastors who can really preach. Yeah. I mean, they're Amen. people that we like to listen That's to right. preach. That's right. Bobby That's Scott, right. Christian Lewanda. I can go down the list. Shy, These are shy. You know. I, yeah. th so I'm I'm very excited about the guys sitting under their ministry. But then we're also going to have back David Platt. David Platt will come back and, and again is preaching on my favorite subject to listen to David preach on missions. Yeah. And um, and Alistair Pegg is joining us. Praise the Lord. Isn't that great? So it is. Which and is, I bet part of the reason Alistair came is because Sinclair because Ferguson Sinclair. And, and, and is and again, we, you know, the, the Scottish there is, um Sinclair has been in ministry for 50 years hmm. as of this year. Wow. And you know what an encouragement he has been to yeah. all of us. And uh, and Alistair has been a friend to him, mm -hmm. you know, for all of those years. Yeah. And uh, they're like brothers. And so Alistair really worked hard to be able to come and be yeah. with us. And I'm, I'm I was thrilled kind about of that. moving some things around. And I think the the topics, uh, theological, relevant, pastoral, aimed at at church pastors, yeah. uh, as we've always tried to do, and some panels in which we try to take on some tough topics. Uh, and we thought the panels was the best place to do that. Let's yeah. get up, get on our, get on our hind legs and preach, yeah. preach the text, preach the yeah. gospel. Uh, you know, hit our emphases. You know, a theological approach to pastoral ministry. All the things that have been the heartbeat of T4G from the beginning. But these other things that are sort of encroaching on all the pastors yeah. out there. Talk about them in the context yeah. of the panels. We've tried to clean out some time to give you more time to see your friends. Right. Because we know one of the main reasons people go to T4G right. is like a huge family reunion. So we want people to have time to go to the bookstore, which will be the same as always. And I should just say that uh, I think that there is an extension of the early bird rates uh, because of this late change yeah. with Al yeah. out and David and Alistair yeah. in. So we thought in case that wants to, anybody wants to change originally, it was gonna end in uh, November 4th, but now we've extended a couple of weeks to November right. 18th, the early bird that's rates. Right. So that's gonna allow for uh, signups at that rate, and then of course a full refund for anybody who doesn't like these changes yeah. we're announcing with yeah. this video.
But we can we can see this through for one more yeah. time. And, and we just decided, okay, this is it. This is the last T4G. And that, honestly, Ligon, that's that's kind of given me a sort Freeing. of... It is. It's a kind of monkey off the back. Yeah. It's kind of a joyful, yeah. like, Absolutely. all right, we got one more Absolutely. shot at this. Yeah. Let's do it like this. Yeah. And uh, and I'm I I'm in some ways more excited about this one than maybe even the first one. I am too.